Oh, is your mic on and like plugged in and everything? Yeah, I did a I did a flicking test with it earlier. All right, we're recording. Yes, we are recording. We're you unplugged the controller, you fucking asshole. Damn it. There. And I'll sit down. Oh, oh look, look at, at that. that! Me. Just my mic now that I'm sitting. Uh, did you remember to, mic to mute your laptop? Oh, yeah, let me hit. It is muted. You want to intro or should I? Uh, I'll intro. Alright. Because. I'm gonna be going talking first. Okay. Then you count me down. All right. Let me pull up my podcast list of things. I'm coming through enough. Maybe you should, should raise yourself up a bit. Uh, I think because like this is not. What close am I enough. at DB wise? You raised me up to six. Uh, you're at five point six from last time. Oh, okay, so it's the same as last time? Yeah. Okay. Same for both of us. I just think I wasn't close enough. Now that I'm much closer, I'm getting really close to actually peaking. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. All right. In five, four, three. Good morning. Good morning. How's everybody doing Happy today? Happy New Year. Happy New Year. January 3rd. It's January 3rd. <laughs> yeah. This is uh, absolutely January 3rd. Yeah. This is also Mario Sunshine. Yep. Um, we both, let's get this out of the way, hate this game. Yeah. Uh, this game sucks. This is one of the worst Mario games pretty definitively the worst mario game for cameron i'm pretty sure yeah i can't think of one i hate more i can't either off the top of my head but there's a lot of mario games i do not like this being the peak this game fucking for sucks me, if we're talking explicitly just 3d the only other one that i'm like kind of somewhat sour on is 3d world I was sour on 3D World at first, but I think the Switch port helped it immensely. It did. It's just kind of more... It's the most boring one for me out of all the others. Yeah, I agree. I like 3D Land a bit, though. Like, I know that's yeah. a bit backwards, but I think 3D Land had tighter level design. I never had a chance to play 3D Land. 3D World suffers from a lot of the same problems as I think the later new Soup games did, where they were all wide to encompass four people. Yeah. It's... Oh yeah, we missed. I missed talking about Peach's eyeball earrings. Oh yeah, she did have <laughs> eyeball earrings, didn't she? <laughs> it, it's so weird and gross. Why? Why? How'd that texture come to be? I don't know. Also, we are playing uh, 3D All Stars. Sue me. This is the easiest way to record the damn game. Oh, also, yeah. it's widescreen. Yeah. Sure, it may lag like a bitch, and it's not fun to play with the extra delay, but who cares? This game's unplayable regardless. <laughs> yeah. Was that Bowser throwing? Yeah, that was or, Bowser that throwing was Mario... from, from Mario 64, yeah. I'd never noticed that before. Yeah, this is a direct sequel to Mario 64. Neat. It references 64 a few times. I never knew to, noticed that. Yeah. Nudist. Nudist. <laughs> but, uh, earlier today, we... uh. I had uh, Tyler try out the kendama. I, yeah, I've uh, never tried a kendama before. The only way that I knew what a kendama was was because Yatterman 1 uses one. That was something I learned. I was just giving it as a uh, stocking stuffer. N oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That was, it's just generally how my parents do things. They like, always give us one like uh, more manual type game. 
in our stockings. That's very interesting. Uh, yeah. My family tradition is shoving something fucking terrible in the stocking. Like, <laughs> last couple of years that I can remember, it's been like those cockroach candies. Like oh. the popsicles with cockroaches in them. This year it was that guy up there. I'm pointing and you can't see it. But oh, the little rubber. It's a rubber. Miles it's like Morales? it's like a it's like a Stretch Armstrong Miles Morales. Oh. But on the inside of him, he's uh, got like web fluid. That's like if you squeeze him hard enough, you can see like red solid webs inside of him. What? That's weird. The only other things we do is my parents always get get us socks in our stockings. And uh, they always put oranges at the very bottom. Oranges? To, sign to signify that we've been good people. <laughs> that I, that's a new tradition. I've never heard that before. Yeah, they're like, uh, they say uh, if you get a coal, you're bad. But if you get an orange, you were good. Well, that's nice. Yeah, but they've never put coal in it. I've had coal in my stocking before. Have you? Yeah. Damn. It was chocolate. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, but like, yeah, I've I've had not real coal on my stocking. Okay. That being said, I I've been spitefully holding on to that tradition. Like <laughs> in the back in the back of my mind, every year for Christmas, I'm like, I could buy a, a genuine bag of coal and just ruin the day. Uh huh. I, I could fucking <laughs> tank the holiday for someone, but you have sucked. <laughs> yeah. This whole year, you have been so bad. That I purposefully went out of my day, out of my way to buy a bag of coal. Oh yeah. But thankfully, I uh, would one. I have a conscience. Two. I, <laughs> I, I wouldn't do that to any of the people I'm surrounded yeah. by. I'm. There's a good possibility that I might like do the coal candy. Oh yeah, because it was really good too. Yeah. Because it had like a bunch of it had like the crispies in it, like crunch bars. Oh yeah. And it was yeah. small balls that were like all different shapes. They had a really nice texture to them. I honestly would like them again. Yeah, that sounds nice. Yeah, it was nice. So, some of these Mario pants I got, I've got, my parents got me this. Mmm, yeah. These, this, you know, like, a week before Christmas, I realized I actually do like how Mario 3 looks. So, yeah. the, on Christmas Day, I opened up one of my presents to find Mario 3 pajamas. And god damn it, they look so cool, and they're my favorite pajama pants now because they're really comfy. Yeah. They're nice and thin, and they just, they they don't feel bad on my balls, which is my favorite kind of pants. <laughs> That's a, actually currently the same situation with me. I got new pants. Nice. I got a My Hero Academia pants, and it just has, like, faces of uh, Izuku, Bakugo, Udolaka, Sh uh, Shoto, and... Uh, all might on them oh that's way more or that's way less egregious than a my hero academia calendar that you're expected to use for a, ne a whole year yeah i got one of those <laughs> 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 i i'm deliberating on whether or not i will hang it up at the very least you should open it to look at it because yeah i i, I saw it earlier 16 month calendar Oh, yeah, 16 month calendars are pretty normal. I have no idea what it means by 16 month. They're... Last four of, uh, the f of the previous month or the first four of the next month. Uh... Or 2 2. It's a buffer okay. to buy a new calendar. Okay, I see. Talking about calendars, my uh, family has a tradition each year where they'll have a calendar made and all they'll put in pictures of the entire family from throughout the year. That's nice. And then on Christmas, they'll ship it down, and it'll be the next calendar you use throughout the year. That's nice. Yeah. I had to see uh, shit I did from, like, early on in the year that I forgot about. And then, uh, I also got uh, these fucking slipper socks in my stocking, and they are so nice. Oh, they're socks? I didn't even realize they were socks. Yeah, they move around. They're super soft. That's awesome. Uh-huh. I'd love to be a pair of those. Yeah, I don't know how much these were, but I hope they can be washed because they can get these t can definitely get dirty and stinky. Stinky. Yeah. You know, speaking of stinkies and nice things for Christmas, the biggest stinky Lane finally brought me my Christmas present. <laughs> that motherfucker got me soap a week before Christmas and was honestly content until after. Okay. <laughs> he was like, "That's your present, some soap." I'm like, okay. <laughs> oh, I wasn't gonna. I wasn't really gonna give him shit for it, but like, yeah. 
I did tell him the only thing I really wanted for Christmas. I told everyone this, and mm-hmm. no one came through. Was a teapot. Yeah. Thank God that Lane was like, yeah, I'll get you a teapot and got me a fucking teapot. I got it yesterday, January 2nd. Uh And oh my God, it has been my new favorite thing. I brew so much tea. I love tea. I I already had tea on the deck, tea on the floor. I had tea ready, (laughs) toasted, roasted. I've been yeah. making tea like crazy. You've had tea leaves in the house for a long time. I you? know. I've had tea leaves in the house for like six months minimum. I've had them since I moved in. Yeah. Like, and then he brought new tea, and it sucks. <laughs> but <laughs> he bought, uh, I can't remember the name of the tea, but I know it's green tea mixed with like rice. Mm-hmm. And I know some people are big into rice. I don't really like rice. I like rice and tea, or just rice in general. Rice in general. If you adore the taste of rice, you'll you like rice anything. Okay. I don't think I like rice anything, but I really like a good steamed white rice. You know, so do I. But like, I'm not a big rice lover. Like, yeah. like some people. Like uh, Asians. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Because. <laughs> It's, I watch, or I read a lot of, uh, isekai manga, and I feel like a joke in every single one is, I need my rice. (laughs) I need my fucking rice. Well, that's also, like, all they eat, right? Yeah, it's basically a part of every meal, I think. Rice is very good for you Mm -hmm. in every meal, and it's very plentiful to grow, especially in when, oh my god, wow, this game looks really bad on Switch. Uh... (laughs) It's it's really easy to grow in Japan. Mm-hmm. Plus, I mean, there makes there's so fucking much of it. It's a grain. Oh yeah. So it makes a shit ton. It's why we have so much bread. Yeah. That's the West's uh, grain, bread. Well, bread doesn't grow on. Hey, trees. Bread doesn't. It's wheat, but. <laughs> Dude, I wish bread grew on trees. I'd have a bread tree outside right fucking now. Oh, yeah. I was yeah. just talking about this. I love sandwiches, but I hate white bread. I hate white bread so much. Like yeah. store-bought white bread. Store-bought white bread for sandwiches is straight up dog water. I can't stand it. I, I'm i perfectly fine with it. I haven't actually made my own sandwich bread before. I'll use any bread as sandwich bread. <laughs> <laughs> it's just anything besides white bread. Okay. We'll have to see, because I said I would make you some. I know, and I'm so excited to be able to eat sandwiches again. I'll go buy cold cuts. It's going to cold cut how much money I spend and <laughs> clean in half. Yeah, because you don't have to get a, some delivery meal yeah. for it's, lunch. I spend way too much money on lunch, realistically. Mm-hmm. Like, I do delivery or I have, like, steak. Yeah. Which is, both of those add up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, I mean, a steak is like 15 bucks at, like, Walmart or it's Target. It's not that much. They're like six or seven. I, those are the ones I was finding at Walmart and Target. Oh, really? Because the, the steaks that I buy, I got them in the freezer now or from Target. They're like six to seven each. All right. I have, maybe it's a... Uh... I went too late in the day or something, and maybe. they, they only mean, had the more expensive ones left. Maybe, especially now. Prices on meat have gone up pretty high. Oh, yeah. Also, yeah, we are speedrunning. Just yeah. kidding. Well, I just skipped the first star because it's do, really easy to. We, yeah, we're doing that because we don't want to play. Yeah. Neither of us really want to play the game, so we're going to play as little bit as possible. Yep. Yeah. Uh, one other thing that I've, I've been getting every year since I've started shaving... Razors in my stocking. I just have Dollar Shave Club, so that's not really necessary for me. For me, I just don't use any other razor than the first one I got. I have been using the same razor forever, but eventually the handle on it just inexplicably broke. So ah, I see. So I bought my new. I bought a new Dollar Shave Club subscription. Uh-huh. I got the new razor, and that's just all I've been doing. It's like. I have I get new razors every seven months. Okay, all right. 
It's a reasonable amount of time. It takes me so long to go through one of those packs of razors. Oh, You're yeah. supposed to go through that pack in a week. They're supposed to send yeah. you... You're supposed to go through one razor for a week, and they're supposed to send you a new one every month. Yeah, there's some people who have to... It's probably for the people who, like, have to shave every day. Yeah, but I shave... But and I they do shave every day. Do you? I shave, like, every day or every two days. The only times I get, like, a full-on beard, or, like, any, or not, like, even a full beard. Anytime I start to have, like, any facial hair mm -hmm. is whenever I let myself... Whenever I let myself grow out the grossness for like a couple of days and yeah. then i'll start to get itchy so i just shave it all off yeah i don't really want to style a beard either that's a lot of upkeep i'm already uh -huh. having trouble with my hair yeah i shave once every two weeks and because that's when it starts to get itchy yeah and so i do it then and then if i'm like maybe going out somewhere nice i'll do it no matter what before yeah but Generally, I don't shave that often, so I don't really find it necessary to use any of the, like, ten razors I have. Wait, did this get skipped? Is this open now? Oh, no, it's not. I thought mm. I thought that that, like, already had the thing on it. Yeah. Not quite. It'd be nice. New tech. Yo, I'm sick. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh... I also got a... Usually get white shirts in white, my stockings. White shirts, just like Hanes white shirts. Yeah, just like pajama shirts. I, dude, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. I wear a lot of graphic tees, but I don't really have a lot of solid color tees. Honestly, yeah. I should just buy a pack of like Hanes colored shirts or something. I'd love to have a purple shirt for literally yeah. every day of the week. Yeah. I want to have like two. I have fourteen purple shirts that are just. Two sizes too big. Yeah. That way I can do whatever the hell I want on them. Like, sweat them all up and whatever, mm -hmm. and I'll be fine. At this point, I have to have easily a, over 100 white shirts, and I just use them either for, like, pajamas, or maybe if I'm going out to do something that'll get me, like, real dirty. Oh, secret. The other secret. Oh, yeah, you went to the... The, the behind the waterfall secrets for when the lake's all poisonous. Yeah. That one's a pain. Fuck, I, I circled too many times. Oof. Uh, I get those. I get... What else? Oh, I got chapstick. Uh, anything else I can think of? Out of stockings. The Icky Usually Miles. some candy. The Icky Miles was the only thing in my stocking. Mmm, okay. Uh, I also got candy, but it was in a separate bag because my mom loves to turn the fireplace on for Christmas. Yeah. And the stockings are over the fireplace. Ah. Uh. So the last couple of years they've been we've had chocolate stuck to the inside of our stockings. Ooh. And the chocolate comes out all sad. I bet. Yeah. My parents will usually get us some like of those cheap hollow chocolates that are like shaped like Santa or something. Oh, I actually have a couple of those I haven't eaten yet. I love them. Yeah, I love them too. Uh, they didn't actually do that this year, though. <laughs> but, uh, oof. That's not, that's no good. No, that was not good. And we, uh, as for Christmas presents, I got a, I got my mom. <laughs> I was telling you about it earlier. I got her uh, Death Wish Coffee Company coffee grounds. Yeah, I need to get some of those myself. Yeah. Uh, apparently, they're really good. And they're good enough for my younger brother, who also is a big coffee drinker, to like them at all, because apparently he hates hot coffee. What? Yeah. I don't know why. But he's a cold coffee person. They're, they're not to be trusted. <laughs> <laughs> I I know quite a few cold oh, cold coffee people. Do you? Well, people in quotation marks, but yeah. <laughs> All right. Well. Uh, so I got that for my mom. For my dad, I got a grill mats, some Ooh, flat okay. ones, and some with uh, holes in it, so he can like, cause he he is a smoker. Yeah. So he could like smoke bacon. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. And then, uh, 
For my oh. sister, I got her a blanket. She fucking loves blankets. I'm also a big blanket fan. Yeah, I got a Destiny's fiance a uh, Logitech speakers. They were like 20 bucks. Nice. Yeah. Uh, Billy, I got a Logitech webcam for his computer, which he was like, oh, neat, I didn't have this. So he can use that for school, since he's in college. Or being a VTuber. Or being, yeah, yeah, being a VTuber, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not, but yeah. That reminds me of something I did recently, actually. Yeah? Yeah, I applied for Hololive. Yeah, you were talking about that. I, uh, so, a little bit of history. I fucking hate VTubers. Do you? I uh, hate's a strong word, especially if they watch this video. I love VTubers. Okay. But uh, they could, there's a really high chance they look at this, which is funny. But maybe. Well, they they know about the podcast. Oh I had to yeah. Link in the interview. Yeah. But fuck, was it why? Yeah, I have to why turn there. Anyway, so why do you hate them? Uh, I hate anime. Ah, okay. I, <laughs> It's just some very uncomfortable about the whole thing. Is I it? don't I don't hate VTubers generally, but I hate I hate anime women and <laughs> it's like watching anime <laughs> women play games, which is a collection of stupid that I can't deal with. I might feel that way more towards the Japanese ones, but I've seen a couple of the English ones. They're really good. They're yeah. gremlins. <laughs> I've played. I, I played. I've watched quite a few of, of uh, American like English VTubers. Yeah. Because quite a few of them are speedrunners. Like yeah. one of them, I recently put out an episode on Jump King. Yeah, one you're of them, talking uh, Mori Calliope. Yeah. Yeah, I watch her a fair bit because she's entertaining. Yeah. She actually makes she makes rap music. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Where the fuck is this last one? I was like, Wayne? this is interesting. But yeah, like, she's actually, like, goaded. Yeah. She's crazy good at uh, Jump King. Yeah. And I think that's f that also uh, one of my... One of my friends, like, discon like disconnected from me friends, you know? Like, yeah. friends of somebody else that I'm also friends with separately, but not as close of friends with. You yeah, know, the, you the know? acquaintance friends. Yeah. Uh, one of my acquaintance friends is... A VTuber, and she's also the best player in the world at Nick All Star Brawl. Nice. She just won uh, another two thousand dollar tournament yesterday. Nice. So, I, saying I hate VTubers is, is a strong sentiment that's just factually not true. Yeah. But I also know quite a lot of people who shove VTuber garbage down my throat all the time. Ah, uh, I see. So, it's oh. more become a defensive mechanism to say that. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. Where the fuck? Where, where oh, the, the eighth fuck? red coin? It's it's in the village. It is definitely not over there. Okay, it's in the village. It's right there. Where? Below you. It's in on right there. What in the hell? Okay. Yeah. But uh, I think the 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 at the very least of the way Hollow Life has its VTuber model is like ingenious. Yeah, they do a lot more. They do a lot. Being mm -hmm. VTubers. Because they effectively took, like, the idol culture business model. Yeah. Which is having a bunch of interconnected people together. Yes. And having them interact so that if you want to be, like, the most up-to-date with your favorite, you have to watch the other ones. Yeah. And I think that is a cool concept. Yeah. Now, the concept I pitched to them for my character, I was pretty confident in at first, but now immediately hate Okay. Because I got given a better idea, and I realized how actually garbage <laughs> mine was. All right. Because I made the whole video for them, the whole introduction and everything, and then I like got told, what if you did an animal theme in Discord? And I was like, wait, oh, fuck. Yeah. I should have done an animal theme. Over uh, way better. There are uh, quite a few of those. Yeah, I know, but like... And they're popular. Like, uh, I think one, one of the like top female streamers... Like in the world, like top ten is a uh, called Pecora. Yeah, it's a rabbit. Yeah. People just fucking love animals. 
But yeah, they never emailed me back, but I did get the confirmation that they got my uh, application. Mm -hmm. So, Hollow Live, if you're watching, uh, hit me up. We can talk. <laughs> I'm down. I can change. <laughs> yeah, you can change. Make him love VTubers. I'm super down. Make them down. be his favorite thing. See, here's the thing. Streaming? Money. <laughs> yeah. You're telling me that if I just do do a little bit of acting, which I love to do because I'm a theater person. Yeah. Like do a little bit of acting, and don't even have to show my real face, and I get to act like a cool anime boy, and I get millions of dollars. Yeah. I don't know quite about millions, but a lot. Million. Yeah, million. <laughs> Mil million. Million of dollars. <laughs> Not multiple, just one. Yeah. Then, like, hell yeah, I'll do that for a year contract. Oh, yeah. I'll do that for uh, my life. Like, <laughs> Maybe. I know they typically do seasons and whatnot and hire people out, like, yearly. Hollow Live is weird and they do yeah. seasonally. They'll, they'll, like, hire a group of people at once. Yeah. And have them debut at a point, like, at a specific time in Generations. Yeah, and they'll, like, cut some of the other people off that have gotten less popular. I actually... Do not cut off anybody. Really? I thought yeah. they did. No, a couple of people have left, but generally for, like, other pro other things. Okay. Like, the most famous one that left, left because of, a uh, China being awful. Was she a Chinese? No, uh, they did actually have to cut off a Chinese sect of it, because okay. China is terrible. But anyways, uh, they were having a... The streamer was like looking at the YouTube uh, whatever things like the showing the thing that YouTube has that shows you like where people uh, were watching from what country yeah and because YouTube has Taiwan set as its own country China got pissed off and started like harassing her during every single stream like the, the Chinese government no China like Chinese citizens oh okay they were harassing her, like, every stream. To the point where, like, she cried a couple times on stream. Fucking why? Yeah, and... And, uh, because of the situation with that, anytime that, like, other VTubers would collab with her, they would end up getting harassed for a bit. So, she couldn't collab with anybody and was essentially locked alone, only doing streams by herself. And eventually she was like, I can't do this. I have to leave. Yeah. So, yeah. But currently, the uh, they're still streaming, actually. But they're, they just, like, cut away from Hololive. A oh, fucking stupid-ass managed antivirus. Anyways. Uh, they're still streaming right now, but they're no longer under uh, Hololive. Okay. And China, Chinese citizens generally don't screw with her anymore. Well, that's good. Yeah. But yeah, so that was, uh... And then others, I think, have had to left because of life things. But... Yeah. Why do contracts run out, too? Because I, I... Yeah. I do know they're on a yearly contract. Yeah, they probably just, like, mostly, uh, renew it every time. Yeah. Because... They've mentioned this oh, a fair bit. You. They really like Hollow Live as a company. Which is good. Oh my god. It's good when the company isn't uh shit. And then the CEO himself has become a meme. How so? That's kinda of funny. Uh people are just like, Yeah, the CEO <laughs> He uh they were having a Christmas event, and the CEO showed up and, like, turned on the Christmas lights or whatever. <laughs> and everybody was like, yeah! Can you please? Can you please? But, uh... And then, uh... One other thing was, uh... They'll, like, make meme videos of him. Because, uh... His dream was to make a VTuber idol company. And so, people would be like, his dream is dead! <laughs> But yeah. So there's all that. Uh, I did recently learn why your stomach will be like 
in pain if you get upset or like really upset. Why is that? There's a nerve called the vagus nerve, and it essentially is just like, mm, I hurt, my brain hurt real bad. Uh, why? Why is it hurt? Mm, stomach. Uh, very confusing there. Why? <laughs> I don't know. But uh, it just kind of like attributes the unknown pain to being stomach issues. That's weird. Yeah. It's strange. Also, interesting fact, did you know, mummies are rare because the Europeans ate them. Ew, no. Yeah. No way, the year, no. Yeah, that was a period, there was a period of time where, uh, like, high-class Europeans would ground up Egyptian mummies and eat them. Did they had to have known. That they, yeah, no, because I have no idea why they did it, but they were like, it's, it's, you won't get it. It's the same thing with the fucking, uh, gold. This is a lot worse. It is a lot this worse, but it's the same type of situation with gold. Putting fucking gold on your food. Gold's so you, so nasty too, but yeah. I can't imagine it tasting good, yeah. I didn't realize it was doing it. You it's... Fuck. Get down here. <sighs> Europeans really fucked up, like, keeping the culture of, like, Egyptian history sound because they fu they screwed it up in so many ways. Well, besides eating people. Besides eating people, they'd constantly, like, break into pyramids or something when they first found out about them and just wrecked them to shit. So now a bunch of stuff is, like, unrecognizable just because people were too fucking careless with it when they first found it. It's real dumb. Oh, yeah. My mom started a new thing this year. A new tradition. What? That she's calling Rotini Royale. Oh, you know what? I saw that on Facebook. Yeah. But, uh, it's a thing where we all come up with a- it's something we'll do it every time that my mom makes, like, a big dinner. So every time we're having, like, a big family dinner, like, Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, that type of thing, we'll, uh, each come up with a game to do and see who wins, like, the most games out of everyone and receives the most points from it. And that winner receives a Rotini Man statue. Rotini Man? Yeah, my mom uh, grabbed some pasta noodles, hot glued them together into the shape of a dude, and then Rotini stuck man. them on a little cardboard bottom. <laughs> but, uh, so for each of these, this time we only had like 30 minutes to come up with a game. Which is not nearly enough time. So, my mom was like, uh, who can throw an egg into the center of a, uh, a target the best? Who's, who can get an egg thrown closest? This is pissing me off. This oh, yeah, this guy, yeah, he sucks. Yeah, sadly... The only way I know how to get him down is to just use the little pigs. Oh, you can do that? I've just been hitting him with water. Yeah, no, the little pigs spawn around areas. I don't know exactly where, but they should be down there. Oh, uh, to your left. There's some. Over there. But, uh, anyway, so that was my mom's, uh, Billy's was a typing test from like the human benchmark so who could get that the best uh, the one I did was the best Puyo Puyo chain okay so everyone's got a hell of bias no nah, because the person who made the game isn't allowed to uh, partake oh, in it participate? Okay. yeah because that'd be cheap doing that I'm the only one who can fucking play the game Yeah. but everybody else actually struggled 
and was trying to do their best. First place went to like Billy for that one. Was like what three? Uh, it was, yeah, it was. He got a three chain. The way I did it for score wise was a. Each, like chain would give you a, hundred points, but. Every leftover Puyo on the board would be minus five. Mm, okay. So if you had an, a very ugly board after your chain happened, you would be screwed. Because you could lose, like, everything. But uh, Billy came in first at, like, 185, and then my mom and Chris came in second, tied, at, like, 110. And then everybody else got 80, and then Mag, uh, poor Mag, zero. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. She, uh, just made, she effectively filled the entire board and then got a one chain. That's, that's no good. Yeah. So, she ended up in last at zero and was not very happy. For obvious reasons. I can't imagine why. Yeah. My mic's been unplugged for a bit. I'll go plug it back in. Alright. Also, it's probably about time, uh... Share Live. Am I back? Yeah, Am I back? Yeah. Okay. So we're in about 30 minutes, and we said we'd be switching off. Yeah, but I'm just playing the game. You're just playing the game? You sure? Yeah, <laughs> for now. <laughs> All right. Uh, where are the other ones we had for Rotini Royale? We had Austin's was flip a coin and see who got heads. And the people who got heads the most won. Okay, so a pure game of luck. Yes. Pure luck. Nah, there's some skill in that. Nah, we had to flip it under the table. Yeah, there's some skill in that. <laughs> I, look, if I could flip it and then catch it into my hand, that would have been easy. Free. No way I bonked on his tree. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? This game is terrible. Yeah. But, but uh, I can very, very easily uh, set that game up in my win completely because flipping a coin to land on one side is so easy yeah it's why a pokemon tournament like the card game banned it <laughs> it's like what do you do <laughs> you can't do anything about fucking so that's that's why a uh, pokemon uses dice now despite literally every card stating, stating to flip coin. a coin so they use dice in like TCG, like actually, yes. like like in uh, Nintendo events, uh, or, or B yeah TPC events. Yeah, they use a uh, dice in TGC events or TCG, whatever one it is. But uh, they use dice there. I need to white turn that. A white turn? Yeah. What are you trying to do? <gasps> I know there's a jump pad. You know? Do you know how to white turn? No. You still have control of Mario when in Y, uh -huh. which is which is this when you press Y. Yeah. So you can do U-shaped turns. Interesting. Why? Like you can do that. Yeah. But like you can do that while going fast. Okay. So I was gonna U-turn wall jump. Oh well, I can't even land on that. Are you just trying to be cool? No, I was just trying to get on the platform. The cube? <laughs> yeah. You can just jump. I know, but it's harder. I don't think so it is genuinely harder to do anything in this game without that i had to look up tech to beat it motherfucker <laughs> no no <laughs> all right then I right, it's game over let's switch okay yeah this game is insufferable dude i hate playing sunshine nothing in this game feels good like I agree it doesn't feel good, but I don't generally have... We're still in here, right? Yeah. Come on. You couldn't even fucking get in the, the, the damn <laughs> I went thing. around it. The collision pushed me away. Seeker of the dirty lake. Time to figure out buttons. A's jump. 
B yeah. is dive, R is gun. Cool. Uh, it's analog as well. It's not digital. Okay. So if you like push it partially, you can walk while Whee. shooting. They patch. They had to patch it in. They patched in GameCube support. Yeah, which is weird. I don't get that. I I do not understand that it wasn't initially there. Yeah, like they had to have taken it out of the ROM that they downloaded from somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> but like, I hate Nintendo emulation. This this game has no reason to not be running a 60 on the Switch. Yeah. And it kind Blame of nerd. Is. It kind of is, but no, it isn't. Like it's so, it's so choppy and bad, and it's full of weird screen tearing and other issues, and uh -huh. looks really bad in sixteen by nine because they just threw a filter over it rather than actually adjusting it. Oh god, that guy! I'm gonna die here, ain't I? Come on! That's it. Well, Mario can't jump out of the water in this game. It's literally what I was doing, though. Well, it's because you were able to get the, the thing to go down first. Mario cannot jump in the water. You have to get onto a ledge that's around his size. I'm pretty certain you can jump in the water. You can't. I'm pretty sure you just have to be uh, sitting still. Go try in the in the safe pool. You, I don't actually think you can. I'm, I'm pretty certain you can. Like, go in the pool that isn't death. Yeah, go in the like, river. Here we go. Okay, if you are 100% still, you can. Yeah. Okay. So, ah, could hand off the controller, and you get a short hop. That's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. But, I was pretty certain because I had used it to grab coins out on the lake. Because, uh, for the 100 coin star. Because, sadly, I've 100%ed this game. So we had a conversation a bit ago about how you have to disconnect the 100% away from the regular game whenever you're talking about enjoyment of a game. Yeah. Do you think that this game is one of those games where you have to disconnect the 100% from the regular game? You don't have to because they both suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. no. Oh, no. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> I hate this. I hate this game. At least I got into the fucking level. That's why I hate this game. <laughs> I always... The thing is, I'm gonna get into the level and do fine. I just hate this poison lake. It's not that hard to get into the fucking level. I just hate it. But, uh... Yeah, I don't. We don't no. have very many uh, Christmas traditions at my house. My family has a ton. Well, you also have a pretty big family. Yeah. And my family, uh, my dad does not like Christmas, and my mom isn't the biggest on Christmas either. So they have a reason for it. My dad, yes, his parents. Okay. Uh, my my mom. I don't know. I my mom just kind of doesn't seem to care about any holiday. So all right. I mean, I guess if you're equal to them, then fair. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she likes Christmas. I know she has like Christmas sweaters and stuff, but like, she's not very outwardly excited about many things. So I don't know if mm. she's like a big Christmas person or not. I guess I've never really asked her. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe she is. I mean, she's been all about it for the baby, like for uh, okay. my sister's kid. Yeah. She's been buying tons of stuff. All right. Oh, yeah, Mr. Shadow Mario. Come Bowser on. Bowser Jr. Spoiler yep. warning. Oh, no. Spoilers for a 20-year-old game. Why'd I do this? Mm -hmm. I jumped I, and knew that was wrong. Me when I make the same mistake. <laughs> I jumped and knew it was wrong. I'm going to get in the level and do fine. <laughs> <laughs> This only happened because I said something. Jumps to the blue. <laughs> no. 
Ah, <laughs> give a motherfucker. It's just because I said shit. Fuck. You know, before we started recording, uh -huh. you also said you wouldn't game over. I did say that. Now that I've said things, that's what happened. I did game over in my 100%. I actually didn't. You just, you literally just failed to get a single shine. I know. <laughs> you blew five lives on a singular shine. And you I want me blew to... four, I think. You want me to believe that you did all 120 sh something shines? Yes, because by this point I already had like 10 uh, lives. <laughs> you mean to tell me you did the pachinko machine without dying 10 times? Yes, actually. That's crazy. Uh, I don't know what it is. I'm really good at getting that pachinko machine, and it's the only reason it's somewhat livable for me. I hate this game. I yeah? <laughs> I hate this game so much. I hate this game, too. After this, we... What do, that, whatever. Once we finish this playthrough, should we do Heroes next? Heroes? Yeah. Heroes what? Sonic. Ah. Oh. Why would we do that? <laughs> Why would we do that? Get it out of the way. Two games we hate back to back. Only if we get Lane. All right, that's true, that's true, that's true. Only if we get Lane in here. He's gotta be the one playing it. I'm not fucking touching it. Fuck heroes. Terrible game. Okay, real, real question. Mm -hmm. Which would you rather play? Mario Sunshine or Sonic Heroes? I think Sunshine. Really? I think. I might I might be in agreeance. Uh Yeah. Well, the th maybe not because it Mario Sunshine all of it sucks. Sonic Heroes 90% of it sucks. Yeah. There we go. At least Sonic Heroes has a Oh, no, I didn't want to fall. We up here. And Eh, fuck. <laughs> I have to say things, don't I? I'm shocked Mario ledge grabbed. I'm shocked too. <laughs> this is why I wide turned to the cube. <laughs> because I cannot do it otherwise. Okay. Here. Well, <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> Yeah, I uh, I really like the holidays, though. I like Christmas a lot. Yeah, I'm I, a fan of Christmas. I like, like getting things. Yeah, you would. Even if I have to buy things for other people, I like getting things. That would be why you like Christmas. Uh-huh. I like spending time with my family. Yeah, I do, I do <laughs> like that, too. But, <laughs> like, I'm just v always very excited over... Uh, what things my family would be like getting me? Did they do good? It's all it's just an excuse to uh buy and ask for expensive shit. I I guess. Cuz I'm always a uh, That's not what Christmas is about. It's not what Christmas is about at all, and I know that, but it's just who I am. Uh no. There we go. No. There we go. No spin jump, huh? I would have spin jumped in all three of those. Nah. I, th I thought you missed the shine. I thought I'd to miss it too. To death. <laughs> I wasn't going to be happy. You know what sucks? I was really about to say. See, it was easy. <laughs> and you almost <laughs> died grabbing the fucking shine. Yeah. See, it was easy, my ass. It took you fucking seven attempts to reach the cube. Not seven. Uh, well, maybe the cubes itself, but yeah. Yeah. Then, last one we have to do here. Yeah, we just gotta get Shine 7. Yeah. Screw this little shadow bitch. At least this is like one of the most simple ones to do. They're all easy. If you just slightly hold R and hold forward, he can only run for two seconds. Yeah. Like, no, like just slightly hold R. You can walk. Well, sure. Yeah. If we just do that, he just dies. Yeah. Like. Come on. 
he just he swims. But he runs from your water gun. Yeah, Jeez. I don't get him. Fuck you. Get owned. But yeah, I don't have too much to talk about. You don't? No, not really. It's been... Oh, other than uh, American toilets causing colon cancer. Yeah, you mentioned that. Earlier. I, I found out about that today because I was looking up stuff about the Squatty Potty. Because, mm, you know, I was taking a dumpy mm -hmm. and I was just kind of interested. I'm like, would the Squatty Potty help this dump go by faster? And apparently the answer is yes. Scientific studies and whatnot show that not only do you get more out, but you get more out faster. Do you? Like, it has, like, there was, like, people, there was, like, an independent study ran by, like, 33 people who had timers. <laughs> and, timers like, on people's shits? Yeah, and they were consistently faster every time they had the squatty potty or, like, some sort of squat. All right. And squatting toilets are apparently the norm and have been the norm in several uh, eastern countries. Eastern? Like that way, like uh, a, like Asia's. And oh, like Asia. Okay. Eastern, yeah. like Middle East. Over there, they have like squatting toilets, mm -hmm. and they have a w much, much lower record of uh, colon cancer. I see. And other like rectal issues, uh -huh. which leads a lot of people to believe in the uh, rectal science fields, which is apparently a thing as well. <laughs> that. Uh, Apparently, just American toilets, they're so horrible for you. They are right. so unbelievably terrible for your poor butthole that they actually cause cancer. <laughs> yeah, poor poor American buttholes. <laughs> you Come can't on. just keep shooting at him. You have yeah, to wait for him to open his mouth. Yeah, or you can just spam X and R. Or not X and R, A and R. With the other nozzle. Oh. You don't have to wait for him to open his mouth. You can just spam that, and he'll just die eventually. Neat. All right. Oh, he came back up? I thought he was dead when he uh, went down. Come on, die. Do it. Come on. You can get it. No. Uh. Yeah, the shotgun blast is extremely useful, and also not in any tutorials. <laughs> Alright. Okay, then. Most things in this game aren't in any tutorials. This game doesn't really teach you anything outside the basics, and I even the know. basics aren't very useful. You just spray it. Do I? Yeah. You have to spray things to get into them. Oh, I'm out of water. Well, where are you going to find more? Right here. We. <laughs> Don't you love it when games just have weird, arbitrary things to slow you down? Yeah. There we go! Mario just shouldn't have a water canter. He just shouldn't have a water tank in this game. It's such a minor thing. You rarely run out of water, but when you do, you're like, ah. All it does is further slow down this already very boring and slow game. Yeah. Mario, Which one am I going after? Uh, the blooper. The first blooper. Gooper blooper. Mario flips from flips between unbearably fast and ungodly slow in this game. And he does it at... He flips between the two at breakneck speed, ironically. Yeah. Like, he'll randomly... He just feels horrible. He just feels horrible. Yeah. I shouldn't have fallen... Look. I shouldn't have fallen multiple times, okay? <laughs> I haven't had a chance to demonstrate it on this channel yet, but I am good at 3D platformers. Yeah, I think I'm I'm pretty okay. I'm not amazing, but like, I can get myself where I need to be. I have a few world records. Yeah. I've had a few world records. Like I've 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 gotten up there. I've you don't need to go up here yet. Okay. You don't need to go up here yet. Just go grab that guy. Like oh he's in there. Yeah. Oh, okay. What was the button? B. There we go. Like I've had a world record in a Sonic game. Mm -hmm. I've had a world. Re I've had. I have almost every world record. Eventually, will have every world record in Crackdown Two. Yeah. Like I'm pretty good at 3D platformers. Whether or not you consider Crackdown Two or 3D platformers up to your level of culture, but 
<laughs> your level of culture. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how dare I also you, used bitch. To, I also speedrun Billy Hatcher, and I used to be really good at that game before the meta advanced to something fierce, and I just haven't had time to practice it. Yeah. Billy, at this point, yeah, is math. ridiculous. Because it's an hour long, a multiple hour long speed run for some categories that is every single minute extremely technical. Yeah. I've, uh, I did play it with you, uh, a while back. Very briefly. I don't know how much of you actually played. We played through the whole game. Oh my god, did we? Yeah, we didn't do every level, but we played through until, like, the final boss. Oh, he's not dead yet. We just did, like, a quick run or something? Yeah, we did it in, like, one night. Yeah, I mean, it's not that long of a game. Plus, I mean, I can beat the game in 30... Not 30 minutes, but an hour and 30 minutes. Yeah. I think my PB is, like, 129 or something. Mm -hmm. It's on the leaderboard right now. If someone wants to fact-check me. All right. But... They'll go do that. Yeah, go check out uh, twitch.tv slash Witherman while you're at it. Yep. I speedrun lots of games, but, like... Mm-hmm. My point being, I'm good at 3D platformers. I've got receipts to back that up. I can't control this game to save my fucking life. No, it's so awkward. If someone held me at gunpoint and said, "Get us, uh, get a shine in Mario 64, or get a shine in Mario Sunshine without falling once," I would say, "Just pull the trigger. Save us both some time. <laughs> yeah. Save us both some time and make me not have to play Sunshine." <laughs> I think there's like maybe one or two I could definitely do it with. Definitely with quotation marks. Yeah, because I yeah. yeah because I say things and then they don't happen. Well, but, uh, just well, I mean even still, this game is inconsistent. Yeah. Oh yeah, if someone held me at gunpoint and said like you and your whole family are dead if you uh, crash on this shine. This is one of the ones I think I'm alright. I would I would cry because I think I could do it, but under that level of stress, I certainly could not. All right. You getting yellow? Uh, well, it switches when I get in there, anyways. <laughs> I That's just did true. this because. Well, if you're going over there, you should grab pink. Unless right now you're trying to help us get to the YouTube algorithm hour mark. The YouTube, uh, yeah, yep, yeah. absolutely. <laughs> we need that hour. You wahoo! We want to go, go for, for a, a ride, ride, bud. Yep. You gonna grab pink? I'm oh. just gonna grab yellow. <laughs> just give me him. <laughs> All right. There we go. If you're a diehard fan of this game, I want to know why. I, I want you to go into the comments and tell me something other than the game's theming. What about this game do you love so much? Uh-huh. Because if I swear to God you bring up that it's a good game to play in summer, or it's got fantastic theming, I do not care. Ah, motherfucker. I don't know what it is. Why doesn't it work sometimes? Oh, you have to hit the invisible checkpoint. Where is that? I don't know. I don't skip anything. I just do it because it's easy. I like skipping. <laughs> yeah, I know. Playing the least of this game as possible is nice. Yeah. What is it like right here? Probably. Because I know I've watched somebody do this jump and just skip through the whole damn thing. Come on. No. Where is it? I hate this. What time did it be? Oh, it's like 40 seconds oh. or something. I maybe like, I'm wrong. Maybe it's a minute and the second time it's 40 seconds. Maybe you seconds. have to jump up here and just take a U-turn. Maybe? I don't know. I tried. Whatever. I definitely was over. Yeah. It doesn't matter. This doesn't kick you back out. Yeah, it just puts you back here. Uh-huh. They know this shine sucks. They yeah. fucking put you in jail. You jumped in jail. I hate. Why? Just give me him. <laughs> just you just give walk, me the fucking blue. You just gotta part. walk onto him. I but I I want to jump. That's what my brain wants me to do. Then you gotta jump earlier. I guess. <laughs> I don't know why I almost let myself die.
Woo. Here we go. So we talk a lot about games we don't like. Uh -huh. What's your favorite bad game? Like My favorite game, bad game. Like games that are bad or that you think are terrible mm -hmm. that you don't like but you still like. That's hard, I think. I don't know. Usually when I think a game is bad, I hate it. There's no games you think are, like, terrible that you still really like playing? I can't think of any. Not off the top of my head, at least. No! Ah! You got water on yourself? I spilled so much on myself. Oh, like it a went, lot? It went down my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so cold. Oh. Oh, that is a lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wasn't expecting this much water, I guess. Were you expecting any water? Yeah. Yeah, I was expecting water. That's why I grabbed the cup. <laughs> I guess. But, oh, that's cold. I don't often grab cups of water to throw on myself, though. Especially not in small amounts. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Ugh. I keep doing diagonal circle jumps instead of forward circle jumps. Yeah, I'm not very good at getting them straight. I just fucking jump. That's why I do the back flip one. Oh, a side flip? Or yeah, side flip. Side flipping in this game is an act of fucking Congress. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, have you seen the uh, I did a thing YouTube? I did a thing? What is that? It's a YouTube that's very much like the uh, How To Basic. But you'll actually see a decent bit of him, and he actually tries to complete the tasks correctly. He just does it in a very stupid way. Interesting. Yeah. I'll have to check that out too, because I've been starting to watch the Daily Dose of the Internet that you were, that you brought up on one of our earlier episodes. Yeah. That's a good channel. Because uh, this guy, he is insane. He uh, he attached a, I think it was a machete, to a string, tied it around his foot, and then was doing the kids game where you're like supposed to go around Why? with the ball. Why? Why would he do that? Because that was a viewer suggestion. <laughs> do you think that, Do you think that viewer expected him to do it? Yes, actually, I've seen a number of his other videos. He's crazy. He. I don't know how this man isn't dead. This man made a one day he'll he made a metal Beyblade out of he made a Beyblade out of a real saw blade. One day he'll have something like uh, he'll have like the toaster bath challenge, and then he just simply won't upload the video because he'll be dead <laughs> and his channel will just go dormant. And no one will know why. Uh, yeah, that'll, that'll have to be it. <laughs> maybe, maybe his roommate or whoever lives with him. So I think there's somebody who lives with him. We'll upload it for him. Be th his Maybe. final act. He died for this video. Like, he does so much insane shit that I feel like... Uh, well, he ate paint for a joke. Like, he, he what, was doing... The, what in the world? So, no, he, it was Flex Seal. What in the world fucking happened to me? I have no clue. Oh, like, but like, in one video, he was making a flex seal joke, and it was just like, "What if? What if? What if I flex sealed my mouth?" And then just started putting it in his mouth. I yeah, uh, I commit to a lot of dumb bits. I wouldn't commit to that one. He, I have no idea how he commits to these fucking bits, like. If you'd like to commit to a fun bit, though, over at twitch.tv slash witherman, you can give me all your fun bits. Yeah. Give me your Twitch bits. Yeah. I love Twitch bits. Your Twitch bits. Uh, I, man's crazy. I don't know how he's alive. He should... There are actually a large number of... Oh, one other thing. Oh, no. He uh, made no. a... He replaced... A treadmill's a uh, thing. The, the, the tread. The, the tread on the mill. On yeah, he replaced it with sandpaper. 
no, and then ran on it. That would be fun. I would do that. <laughs> yeah, and then he uh, very clearly, it was very clear it hurt him anytime he stepped down. Ooh, dude, I would do that. And then he fell. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Oh, I, I would do that, apparently. I'd fall. <laughs> like, yeah. I, uh, I'd i be down to give it a few minutes. But yeah. Uh, for this man's sanity, go check out his videos. <laughs> well, maybe not for his sanity. It maybe, sounds... maybe not. But, like, he deserves views with that type of dedication. Have you seen the world record video of the dude who... Whoa! Why? Did you hit a collision I, on like the corner or whatever? I don't know. I just I didn't react because the game didn't give me time to. All right. I schmooved to get to the the stage too. Yeah. Like I uh, was playing out of my mind to get there. Uh huh. But the the level actively killed me randomly three times. Uh huh. Girl. There was a fun, there was an interesting bit of news at least that I ran across recently. Look, I didn't finish my sentence. I don't think. Oh, okay. uh, did you get to see the world record dude who stepped on the most Legos? Like, have you seen I that video? I did not see that video. Holy hell! It's it's this older guy. He's like old, kind of bigger. Uh huh. It looks like he's in his early forties or fifties. Yeah. And it's the longest distance anyone's traveled on Lego barefoot. How long? So. It was a it was about a meter, but he walked back and forth it a few thousand times. Jeez! It, it was a time lapsed video that was an hour long. Jesus! Like he started crying about thirty minutes in and did not stop. <laughs> like what's with people's dedication? The Guinness World Records guy was just sitting over him on his clipboard, you know, just mm, yes, keep stepping, like. <laughs> <laughs> I get, like, the Guinness World Records guy has got to deal with like so many people injuring themselves in insane ways. Okay. Yeah. Never bonked off of that before. But My, the grossest one to me will all, I think always be the like longest fingernails. Yeah, that's really gross. Yeah. I don't like that they eventually start to curve. Yeah, that's that's pretty nasty. Oh, I'm dead again. I made this mistake already. Yeah. I made this mistake earlier. I did the exact same thing. Yeah. Oh, yeah you have a Guinness World Record. I have a couple. You have a couple? Yeah, but my uh, the easiest one that's that I actually have a plaque for was uh, I participated in the in the world's largest Nerf battle. Yeah. I've got that framed up in my parents house my dad has the plaque for both me and him because we went to it together mm -hmm. and you uh you did that while we were in high school yeah what were your other world records i don't remember ah I like see. i know that i've done other things to be in the guinness book of world records uh -huh. but i've never had the plaque actually delivered to me by a guinness person ah, a guinness I see. person other than that one because that one, like, it came framed already. Yeah. Like, that, like, they gave us the plaques as you. Oh, no. Bitch. Like, it gave us the it gave us the plaques fully put together. Mm hmm That's nice. You don't have to get anything else for it. One day, I hope that, oh, no. <laughs> one day, I hope that the Free Thinkers Association will show up in the Guinness Gamers World Records book for most based podcast. <laughs> most based podcast. <laughs> it's such an arbitrary thing, though. How will we get that? We already have it in our hearts. In uh, our heart okay. of hearts. All right. All right. In this podcast, we play games. Yeah. And not only do we play games, we talk positively and negatively about them oh yeah we We're, we will actively say whether or not we hate the game when starting it so but but will we because there will be games we do not know how we're gonna feel oh uh, yeah but those ones don't count for what i'm saying here so oh just go fuck yourself all but, right um not you i know <laughs> but like real talk real question mm -hmm. i haven't had the chance to ask this but I'm asking it now mm -hmm. on the podcast recorded live on January 3rd. Yep, January 3rd. 
No other day but January 3rd. When Sonic Frontiers releases, are we planning on playing it separately? Or are we first looking it on the podcast? That's an interesting question. I don't know how do we... Maybe? I don't know. It's weird. Yeah. They, this is a situation I've not had to deal with before. Yeah. Because I'm always the type of person who's like, I want to play. Yeah. Before I watch anything, I want to play. Yeah, I'm very much the same way. So right now, I that's why I feel like it's worth asking. We're, yeah. We live together, so it's uh-huh. not like it'll be that hard, hopefully. No. But... Nah, you know what? By that time, here's what we'll do. We'll both play it at the same time. No, because I want our, I want our both of our, a, I want both of our first reactions for that game. Okay. Because that's gonna be a pretty, imp- oh, yo, just oh, oh, Shigeru Miyamoto, be glad I don't know where you live, dude. <laughs> like, anyway, I'm a huge Sonic fan. For anybody not in the know. Yeah. For anybody I'm... that is in the... Oh, what the What hell? happened there? What in the fuck? You went in it. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody can claim that this game is, like, mechanically solid. No. And watch that when it's an accident and it happens. But, yeah, like, I'm a... Oh, no. What the hell? So, did so what, what were you going to say? I'm a big Sonic enjoyer. I like a lot of Sonic games. I also dislike a lot of Sonic games. But yeah. I, I'm what you would consider a sane Sonic fan. I'm a Sonic right, enjoyer. At this point, I can do it consistently. I don't know if I can necessarily fully say I'm a fan, but I'm an enjoyer. Well, how many Sonic games do you like? Uh, I like... Just think of a number. Don't say the ones. Just Okay. If the if the number's above three, you're a Sonic fan. Maybe I'm not a Sonic fan. <laughs> <laughs> you see, like once you start to think about all the games in the series, you're like, wow, I don't like that game. I don't like that game. I yeah. don't like that game either. Because you said that, and the only two that I could really put to my mind and be like, yes, I like this. We're unleashed in forces. <laughs> not even rush. Oh no, the DS ones. I do like those. Okay, so I you're do a Sonic like those. Fan. So I'm a Sonic fan. <laughs> Sonic Rush is good. Uh, what an interesting pair of games. Sonic Unleashed, <laughs> which is not the hottest opinion. Not no, the that's not take. the hottest. That's pretty, pretty Forces, cool big hot. Yeah. But I mean, like, I agree. I also like Sonic Forces. Yeah, I don't know why people shit on it so much, especially when they like colors. Yeah, because they played Sonic <laughs> Colors when they were kids. They're like, this game is poggers. And it's literally all I played still. Colors when I was a kid. Yeah. I couldn't finish it. You know what games I finished? The Storybook series. <laughs> <laughs> Same time frame. Okay, but here's the difference. One of those was fun, and it wasn't Sonic Colors. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I Okay, they have their problems. I enjoyed the Storybook games enough. I enjoyed the Storybook games enough as well. Both of us have our favorite. Yeah. But... I think we can at least understand why the other one prefers the other story, but game over the other. Yeah. And I... I don't know. It's like, fair. It's, it's fair. They're fine games, but we can come together and agree that, man, Sonic Colors is some dookie. Worst uh, Sonic game on the Wii. <laughs> There's a lot of Sonic games on the Wii. Uh-huh. And I'm making the claim it's the worst one. Colors is the worst Sonic game on the Wii. I can't think of a worse one. I can't either. <laughs> right? Like, there's, I know of four off the top of my head. There could be more Sonic games on the Wii. Yeah, I only, I can only think of four as well, with the fourth being Unweashed. Unweashed, yeah. I really like Unweashed. I am less of a fan of Unweashed. I like the 360 PS3 version. I'm not more. a fan of HD Unleashed, really yeah. at all. HD Unleashed, I feel like, only does well in the Werehog sections, and even those are pretty repetitive. I just, the day sections are so limiting. They feel like the antithesis of Rush, you know? Yeah. Because I really like how Sonic Rush's level design is laid out, Mm -hmm. and because of that, I really don't like Unleashed. Because Unleashed feels like a step backwards in comparison. Yeah. I'll I'll have to see. It's been years since I've played uh, Rush. I don't have the rocket nozzle. No, you don't. How am I supposed to get up there? 
Oh, you can get to it from the, oh, the fruits okay. things. Because then you can jump onto the columns. You got a lot of things you can jump off of and to get there. Uh, it's been a long time since I've played Rush, so I'll I'll give it another go because I know I liked time, it. When was the last time you tried HD Unleashed? HD Unleashed was high school. I wasn't. I, well, actually, that was like six years ago. Yeah, but because I just it was don't longer than that at yeah, this point. I just don't have it uh, here. I don't have HD Unleashed here. I was able to play uh, Unleashed because emulation. Yeah. Well, if they ever decide to re-release Unleashed, we can try that. Yeah. But I do not remember liking that game very much. It's been quite a long time since I've played it as well. Mm -hmm. Sonic Unleashed is probably the Sonic game I've played the least out of the entire franchise. Is it? Yeah. Now that I think about it, definitely. Okay. I, I can't think of a Sonic game I've put less time into. For me, very, very easily, it's Colors. Because I made it past well, the first level. Well, that's There's games you haven't played in the Sonic franchise. I'm talking about the ones I have I'm talking played. about the whole fucking franchise. Because, okay. like, I've put more time into Sonic Eraser than I have into Unleashed. All right. I put more time into uh, all the Game Gear games, all the Master System games, even the ones that are on both platforms. Uh-huh. I've, like... I've definitely played more of the 8-bit Sonic games mm -hmm. than I have Unleashed. I've I've beaten Unleashed like once, and even then I did the bare minimum amount of grinding. Yeah, I I only beat 3 HD Unleashed once. I played through it a bit in high school, but then a a new game came out and I was like, I'm playing this. Yeah. But I enjoy Unleashed. I enjoy Unleashed a bit less. Unleashed had a worse Werehog. Yeah. But I think Unleashed had a, just so much better boost stages. I don't know if it was because of the hardware limitations or what. I don't know. They, and they were much shorter. But yeah. I, I liked them a lot more. They were they were more linear, but it was okay because they had more 2D sections, and it, the 2D sections were actually fun. It didn't have one level that I really like from a uh, at least at least from HD Unleashed, which is the one where you're climbing the tree. Oh yeah, it does I really not, like it doesn't that Doesn't have like like Africa or whatever. Yeah, the it, Africa tree. It does not have that at all. I enjoyed that level, at least from memory. I like the uh, Project Unleashed version of it quite a bit. Yeah. I do not like it in actual Unleashed. Project Unleashed is fun. That's the uh, mobile game? Generations mod. Okay, yeah. And um, You haven't ever played Generations, have you? Nope. That's a game we should do. We should yeah. do that pretty soon. We can do that. That's a good game. That'll be one episode. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, oh, my God. I couldn't fucking grab Forces it. Forces is the game I tried to get the actual most out of. It's the only Sonic game I have 100%ed. Yeah, it's quite a grind for some Sonic games. Yeah. And I think... Oh, I was going it. Uh, I'll go get it. Okay, because I want to finish this talking point. The one that's checked, I think, is the one that it is. Yeah, okay. Because almost every Sonic game is a grind to 100%. Like, they've all got their own weird collectibles, especially yeah. the Dreamcast games. The Dreamcast games, especially Sadix on later re on like later ports, yeah, added a bunch of arbitrary missions to the 100%, which are really not fun. Did they? Because I've never tried. I've never even come close to trying for it. So, I'll, so I have no clue what, like, all the extra shit is. There is a uh, dedicated mission mode where you have to do, like, 375 things in the overworld. Oh, no, fuck that. Some of them are pretty fun. Are they? To be fair. Like, they're 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 interesting. They're, actually, it's very, it's very, very similar to Odyssey Moons. Oh, okay. Then maybe. It's just an extra thing, too. Mm -hmm. Like, it's not... Yeah, it's just something I don't think I'd go out of my way to do. I didn't even know they existed. 
They're only in Sadex. Yeah, they're not in. Uh, they're not in the original Sonic yeah. Adventure, which is sad because I kind of like them. But mm -hmm. I will probably never play Sonic Adventure DX again. Yeah. Now that I have a Dreamcast and an HDMI thing for my Dreamcast uh -huh. and a copy of Sonic Adventure. Oh, wow. Pink is uncontrollable. Yeah. I That's why will, you got to pick yellow. Yeah. I will just literally never play DX again. Because holy hell, the original Dreamcast version is so much better. It, it's night it's and day better. Like Yeah. I've never, obviously, I've never had a Dreamcast, so I've never played the Dreamcast version. I've only ever played Sadix on the GameCube. It it's actually impressive how many things are better in the Dreamcast version. Like the lighting is better, yeah. the collision is better, the models are better, the textures are better. Yeah. It, I don't understand how on a newer console. Actually, it's a weaker console. Is it weaker? The Dreamcast is stupid. The yeah. Dreamcast, so what happened is Sega was getting out of the console industry and they were forming a good bond with Microsoft, which they already had because Windows is on the uh, it's on the Dreamcast. Uh-huh. So Microsoft Windows was already on the Dreamcast. Keep this in mind for this Yeah. Windows was already on the Dreamcast. So Microsoft hit up Sega. Microsoft was like, Hey, we're trying to get into the console market. Got any ideas? And Sega was like, just do the just take the Dreamcast. Okay. So they did. They took the Dreamcast, they put Seagate hard drives in them, and they called them the Xbox. Okay. Literally, Microsoft's new generation-defining console, with its ridiculous power, was what was already out. Okay. Damn. That's the problem with the Dreamcast as well, because no one could develop for it. Mm -hmm. It was so hard to get support for the thing if you weren't a batshit insane studio like Capcom. <laughs> yeah. You're looking for the last one? I am. It's in between two boats behind you. Oh, okay. Yeah. There'll oh, be two yeah. white boats that you have to go through. Yeah, right there. Behind that pillar. No way I was getting it from that angle. Nah. There you go. Oh, the frame rate's fucking me up so hard. It's so hard to see because it's all... Jugular. Yeah, I, it's a really terrible place to put it. Also, you have to make sure you don't die afterwards. Yeah, I know. Which I think is I'm stupid. Dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Hold left, hold left, hold left. But don't yeah, hold left. Hold you're good, you're good. God himself has graced me with a chance. Yeah, just don't die here. There you oh go. Oh my god, I'm amazing. Yeah, it's a terrible place for the last coin. It's a horrible shine. But yeah, everything is better in the Dreamcast version of Sonic Adventure. It's crazy how much better that version of the game is. Mm -hmm. You've mm. certainly talked about it a fair bit. <laughs> like, because I grew up playing DX, right? Yeah. Like, DX was one of my, I wouldn't say one of my first video games, but it was in one of the, like, well, I guess comparatively. It was one of the first ten video games I ever played. Okay. Which, for the amount of video games I've played... A uh, long time a, ago. Yeah, a very long time ago. I was like... Four or five. Maybe six or seven. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Look up what year it came out. SADX? Yeah. Yeah. It's initial GameCube port. Okay. Uh, my first video game ever was, I think, Pokemon... Yellow? I think. It's really hard because I played it with my uncle when I was like two. And we passed it back and forth. I don't think my first video game was Quake 3. Mm -hmm. But it might have been. Hmm. Say DX release. We have 2003. 2003 is when uh, it made its way to the GameCube? Uh, well, Sonic, that would make sense. Just, yeah, Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut 2003. So, yeah, I think I was either three or four. No, I was three. I was three when I first started playing Sonic Adventure. Yeah. And Sonic Adventure 2 came out way before that. 
Yeah. And I got both of them at it the same SA2 time. It was SA2 Battle, right? Yeah, SA2 Battle. That one came out in 2001. Yes, it did. It came out a year after it came out on the Dreamcast. Yep. Because the Dreamcast was already a dead console by the time that uh, SA2 was coming out. Mm -hmm. So while they were working on the original version of the game, they were also working on the port. Yeah. Because Sega had told them to cut their losses and cancel the project, and they said no. Because I learned a lot about SA2's development recently. Did you? I did. You know how many people worked on Sonic Adventure? Uh, no. I do not. Throw out, throw out a number. 100? Yeah, pretty close. Okay. You know how many people worked on Sonic Adventure 2? Was it more or less? I'll let you figure that out. All right. I'll say... I'll go for the more and do 300. Okay, how long were they given? I'll say they were given half a year. Knowing Sega. You are perfect with the date. <laughs> you are the exact... You are extremely overestimating the team. The size of the yeah. team? Would you like the actual number? Or would you like to guess again knowing it's lower? Knowing it's lower, I'm going to say it was like 20. We gotta go lower. Really? Six people. Six people? Six for people. fucking SA2? The whole game. No In wonder there isn't an overworld. No wonder there isn't much of anything. Yeah. Like... SA2 was made in six months by six people. Yeah. That That's... sounds awful. Like, the game was the game got a beta in Fantasy Star, uh -huh. and, like a demo in Fantasy Star, and that's the only reason it got finished, was because Sega didn't want to cancel a game that had a demo. Uh, yeah, I guess they announced it. They got real close to canning SA2. All right. Because those six people were in America, because that was the translation team for Sonic Adventure. Oh. They yeah the the that... translation <laughs> team made SA2. Yes. In six months. Yeah. Okay. That puts a lot of SA2 into perspective. <laughs> it does, right? Because like. So much of SA2 is weird and clunky compared to SA1. There's so many weird design choices that don't make sense unless you realize that it was a translating team and six of them. Yeah. Well, like the whole stars. Knuckles thing Dune with the sensor. What are you talking about? Uh, Like th in SA2, the Knuckles sensor, you can only see one thing at a time. Oh, no, that's intentional. Is it? Oh, yeah. I still think it's a weird choice. Oh, it's an absolutely fucking stupid choice, but yeah. no, that's actually what it's supposed to do. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's not uh, any fault of the circumstance. That's just them being fucking stupid. Yeah, the, the That's the fault of them being translators. <laughs> not game designers. Yeah. They're, yeah, the... The sensor radar being like that was because of feedback from SA1. People said that the knuckle stages were too easy because they were too open. You could close them down a bit more and still have them, like... Yeah, I... Let you see everything. I don't agree with the way they did it either. Yeah. Knuckles feels good in SA1, and Knuckles is not as fun in SA2. Nobody is as fun in SA2. Yeah. Which sucks. They fucked up the shooting gallery gameplay so bad. Oh, Tails has it, right? Tails and Eggman, yeah. Yeah. Tails wasn't even supposed to be in the game. He wasn't? No, Tails was a literal last minute addition. Oh, okay. Maybe. Maybe? Yeah, it's unclear. Tails basically wasn't confirmed to be into the game until he was on the box art. <laughs> like, it's kind of late. Yeah. So it's up in the air whether or not Tails was supposed to be playable or not. But it was pretty conflicted back and forth. So and he feels very, very clunky. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't be surprised if... Uh... Also, his stages are really hard. Yeah. Like... <laughs> I think Tails' stages slash Eggman's were the ones I died on the most. 
Eggman SA2. stages aren't that hard, especially not compared as to hard, Tails. But like, I just couldn't do it. I was just terrible at it, and Tails is being harder. Yeah, but was you, know, no good. you know who feels really good to move around with though? Hmm. Gamma. Mm, yeah. Literally the exact same art, like the exact same playstyle. Yeah. <laughs> that was a really short guy. What? Oh, that's probably like a piñata child. No, that's just a really small man. There are some small men. Usually they have mustaches if they're small men. Oh, that's men, true. There's, that's that's the the Chuckster. Mm -hmm. They also speak in high pitched voices. He goes, "Yeah, anything in here?" <laughs> because like the uh, the big ones go. Eh, 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 oh, eh, eh, eh. Yep. Ooh. These guys are so weird. This is such a weird level at all. Yeah, uh, men with suction cups get eviscerated by Italian plumber. Yeah. Oh. No, he because he's got to have a foot off. When he's got a foot off, you know he's close. They don't have to have a foot off, but yeah. There we go. We. It surprised me just how many clothing options there were in Forces. Yeah, there were quite a lot. You have so fucking many. I like Forces. And a lot of them aren't the greatest. Oh yeah, like the gamer hat. Yeah. I was not a fan of the bodysuit ones. Some of them looked really good with other things. But... Yeah, but like, I mean the full body suits that covered even their face. Oh yeah, no, those were not great. Yeah. Those were, uh, gross. I didn't like it. I didn't like shiny bodysuit, uh, Sonic OC character. <laughs> I hope the character creator comes back again, because it's a fun concept. Yeah. I also hope that, uh, they do stuff with the custom characters from the box arts and stuff. You know, I hope they don't put the wisps in again for no reason. Dude, let them die! Yeah. Like, let them be gone. They've even integrated themselves into the fucking comic. Yeah. Like... Why? Why are they always there? I'm... Okay, they somewhat justified it in the first couple pages of the comic. But, like, it's still insane. Yeah. The Wisps, per like, willingly signed up to be ammunition, basically. Mm -hmm. And they put themselves into the containers. Okay. All right. That's an option. But, like, even still, that doesn't explain what in the fuck they were doing on the Lost Hex. Uh-huh. Or why the hell there was new types of them there. When no. they all come from a planet called Planet Fucking Wisp. Yeah. It, I, I, I just don't get why the Wisps... I completely forgot he just, like, dies. Oh, yeah, he gets murdered. That's not the same one that runs around later. That guy's dead. Yeah. That's, that one's bigger. We probably just killed his baby. Mm, maybe that's why he's so angry. Yeah, I would be pretty upset too. Yep. Wee hee 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 hee. You exist. You, the fucking ducks exist for no reason. Yeah. They exist so that they could be justified being put in Double Dash. Not just Double Dash. Galaxy. Uh, yeah. They are in Galaxy, aren't they? For one star yeah that they are yeah that they certainly are which i had completely forgotten about and i only learned because i 100 percent in galaxy i you know i was planning on it i bought 3d all stars on my switch because i was thinking to myself oh yay i get to play mario galaxy and i get two other games i'll never play and i ended up liking mario 64 yeah. And, uh, that, yeah. I... I did what I said I would. I 100%ed all three. Why? Why'd you do that with Sunshine? Because I said I would. Why? Said I would so that I would know for certain do I hate this game. Well, the answer is yes. <laughs> I was gonna ask, what's the, what's the consensus? The consensus fucking yes. I... 
am not a fan. I bet you're glad I ended up taking over most of the playing. Oh yeah, very, very happy. You've not asked for the controller. No, no I have not. I've been doing okay. Yeah. But uh... It's 100% for Galaxy is so weird. You are required to play the game twice. Like Luigi, yeah? Yeah, you have to play through with Luigi because otherwise you actually cannot get the final star. Is he much different? He is slippery. That seems kind of fun. It's it's all right. With how bad and slow Mario 64 feels, I think a bit of slipperiness is probably good. Oh, that would work still? I, okay. I thought you always had to use a different one for I the thought, third one. I thought you had to time it. I was Ooh. the second one, but... Ah, I see. But, uh, yeah, you have to play through all 120 stars as both Mario, then as Luigi, and then you have to get the 121st as both. Huh. So in total, to 100%, you have to receive a 242 stars. Which is a lot. That is quite a few. And at the very end of the game, what do they give you? Nothing. A screenshotable picture. Oh, that's nice. It's yeah. the same as Sunshine gives you. Yeah. Is it? Whoa. He fucking knocked you out. You know, Mario games don't really have great completion bonuses, do they? No, they have, I think, some of the worst. Did he just get knocked over by a giant dick? Yep. Let's just say that's what it was. Is that what... That, it that looked like what it was. It looked like a big penis that came out of the sand. I think it was supposed to be like a castle. Like oh, a sand castle. Fuck you. But I don't know. I didn't get the greatest look at it. But now we get to see again because he's back. Oh, okay. Uh, sand igloo? Sand igloo. All right. Yeah, that's an that's an option. But yeah, I'm pretty sure Mario games have the worst of all. 2D Mario, I think, has even worse. Nah. Does it? Nah, it has better. Is it? Yeah. What's what's better about them? That you actually get things that change the game. Do they? Yeah. Ah, okay. Like Mario World, you get the the Mario heads on everything. Oh yeah, I forgot. I forget about those. I've rarely what the fuck hundred percent in two D Mario games, especially the New Soup series. New Soup doesn't give you anything. New Soup is get all the coins. There he goes. That's an easier one to get to. That's a, that's a weird thing. He turns into sand. Well, yeah, he does turn into sand, doesn't he? Yeah. I guess it's because it makes him easy to, like, dissipate and make sense. I, fucking, I don't know. It's better than gore. Yeah. And just he blows up into a hundred <laughs> thousand, like, like bloody blood chunks. everywhere. Sharks have to show up to eat him. Oh, that's a bit much. Yeah. <laughs> Wiggler, more like Dinnergler. <laughs> that, that wasn't good. <laughs> no, it was not good. You know what else isn't good? This fucking game. Yeah, fuck this game. Fuck this game. If you think you're having fun, you're. I want to know how many you're people right. who this like is a fun podcast absolutely adore this game that aren't speedrunners. Yeah. Have played it like recently. Because it can't be that many. And by played, we're going to say beat. Yeah. Because you can't do one shine, get moderately annoyed, and go, I like this game still. Yeah, no, you didn't play the game if you got annoyed and stopped at the first one. Nor do you like it. Yeah, nor do you like it. When I say I like Sonic Adventure... It's because I do a full playthrough of every character, like, every, like, two weeks. Yeah. I just really like how that game plays. I will play through it constantly. Yeah. Because it's actually fun. 
When I say I love Zelda games, that's because I play through every single one at least once a year. Every single year I play through every Zelda game. I love them. Just because you touched it for a second doesn't mean you even like it. Yeah. You have to at least beat it. If you like a game, you've had you've spent the time to beat it. The hardest thing in the world is walking in a straight line in this game. Yeah. No, I, you don't want to be off of him. No, where's the last one? It's later. Okay. You don't have to get it right now. How are you? You should get, like, on the side of him. Don't leave me. He's no. left you. No! You see, what I like to do here is stand on his neck. Because mm. he spins so slowly, you can, like, walk over to the My side. goal is to get the red coins and then just play slow. Yeah, that's what I do. I get all the red coins and then stand on his neck. And wait until the uh, last one shows up. All right. I think... My favorite 2D Mario game will always be uh, Mario 3. I've come around on the visual style. Yeah. But that's just because I've reaffirmed that I was right, and that game's level design is the worst I've ever seen in a 2D platformer. Okay. Holy hell, everything outside of World 1 in that game is bad. I'll leave you to that opinion. It's like, what, what levels in Mario 3 do you like? There's none that, like specifically stand out to me. I just, like, enjoy it generally. That's generally how I am with all Mario games. I don't... There are very few I would, like, say, this is a standout level. Dude, Donut Plains 2 is... Donut Plains 2 goes hard. Donut Plains 2? Yeah, Mario World. Yeah, but, like, where... That's World, uh, that's world 2. Okay. The world's don't have numbers because you can go to them in different orders kind of mm -hmm. and the uh there's multiple castles and they have different names per level yeah so it's not really easy to just say like one one or yeah one, there two. it is go get it you did it that was actually not that bad yeah the people talk about the sandbird like it's the hardest thing in the fucking game and it's like Shockingly, the first time I played it, it was the worst. Yeah, but it's shockingly one of the only consistent parts of this fucking game. But I can't judge this game based off of solely replays. I have to judge that level based off of my first time playing it. Because that is everybody's first experience. That's true. And, and everybody's first experience is that it's ass. Yeah, but, like, why don't people take that energy to the rest of the game? You see, if this was a Sonic game, this game would get shit on. Yeah. I got a lot of resentment for you fucking Mario people. You <laughs> you fucking assholes. Y'all, you guys on the internet love shitting on Sonic. But yeah. you never ever shit on the plumber, even when he's got a real stinky doo-doo head game like this one. Defend it till... Where the hell is the flag? Yeah. Oh, oh, the flag? The top? Yeah, yeah, right there. Defend this game to Kingdom Come, but you won't fucking even play Sonic Adventure 1. Nope. We'll talk about how good Sonic Adventure 2 is because your favorite YouTuber like 10 years ago told you it was good. Yeah. People should play games to have opinions. Yeah, fucking <laughs> Generally. Real. Play the game if you want an opinion. Don't ignore playing the game and think you get deserve an opinion. If you haven't played it, you don't deserve an opinion on a game. Like, it's the same way with TV shows for a lot of people. I mean, it was the same with me for a while, realistically, with the Kingdom Hearts series. Yeah. Like, until very recently, I've been a very vocal Kingdom Hearts shitter. Mm -hmm. Like, very vocal. Every opportunity I possibly could, I talked about how much I didn't like Kingdom Hearts and how much I didn't like the convoluted stupid plot. Mm -hmm. And how much I hated Sora's stupid fucking anime face. 
Yeah. <laughs> and now all three of those things are some of my favorites. Yep. <laughs> That's how it is. It's Kingdom Hearts is good. It's so good. We gotta play it for the podcast one day. We it's well. Kingdom Hearts One is a game that I think changed me as a person for the better. Okay. It, the game made me based in fun pilled. Based in fun pilled. That game made me realize that you know what. Sometimes it's better just to have fun. Which is ironic, given the player base try-harding these games like they're fucking <sighs> yeah. competitive esports. That's just how I approach every game. Have fun. That's my number one goal. Kingdom Hearts' favorite thing is wasting your fucking time. Like the first game in, in particular. Yeah. It goes out of its way to waste your time in ways you didn't even know were possible. Yeah. And you know what? That's awesome. <laughs> At first, I thought it was horrible. Now I realize it's the most fun thing it could have done. It's Are the you... fish. Go away. Yeah. That fish is dumb. What? Above everything else of a game, it needs to be fun. I don't necessarily agree. I think that... A, well, I would never, ever call a JRPG fun. I enjoy JRPGs. Turn-based combat is not fun. Okay. It can be if it's a system that's extremely in-depth, like the Persona series, and like Shin Megami Tensei as a whole. Mm -hmm. But like, Final... F F actually, it doesn't count either. But... <laughs> late post-7... Or post or not late mid Final Fantasy like pre pre five mm -hmm. that shit's not fun. I would still like I still like those games though because the stories are not that engaging but pretty fun. Yeah. Then the overworld's fun to explore, but like that's what I would consider part of something that if it's something that can of a game that can increase your enjoyment of it well that's just being engaging though because like i guess yeah be fun is a relative term because i wouldn't consider a lot of shit fun i wouldn't consider telltale games fun but they're some of my favorites when they're when they're done really well because i just really like good interactive stories but i, I wouldn't call that fun per se yeah y you get what i'm saying like yeah it's not game. It's not a gameplay the, that you could say is fun. But it would it's be a the choose story. your own story. Yeah, but the story would be, I guess. Yeah. So I suppose same applies for me. I just wouldn't use the same wording. Yeah. But if I'm for most of the time, though, I would agree. Yeah. So I'm playing like an action game, and the action sucks. Mm -hmm. Well, game fucking sucks. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. You know the. It could have the best story known to man, but if the action was just insufferable, I wouldn't like it. Yeah. That's how I feel about a lot of the... Like... Uh, games that play like The Last of Us. Oh, yeah. The Sony games. Yeah. I The Sony first-party experience. I hate how they play, and so I can't touch them. You see, you're not missing anything. Yeah. Because, like, the Uncharted games... You liked Uncharted from what you played, right? I only ever played Uncharted 1, and only for a bit. Because I think sh I think Uncharted is the best of those I really want to be a movie games. Uncharted feels closest, for me, to Gears. It's, like, bad, slow Gears. Yeah. Because, yeah. like, Gears gets away with a lot of shit by being in a semi-futuristic setting. Yeah. But, like, yeah, it's... Uncharted plays like a cover shooter. Mm -hmm. Just not a very well put together one. Yeah. But a cover shooter nonetheless. Mm -hmm. So you are right. I understand too why you would like that then. Because it's the closest to an actual video game. <laughs> yeah. Just, I. I just can't enjoy, like, the, the way The Last of Us is as a game. He just ran up that. 
All right. Oh, I can too. I thought I was gonna slide. I thought you were too. Nice What's up with the slips? <laughs> okay. All right. I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> yeah, you can. You carry your momentum when uh, spin jumping, which is why it's nice to be able to spin and keep running. I just didn't know you could slide into a spin jump. You can slide in anything in this game, yeah. All right. Too bad there's no opportunities to use that. Yeah. Too bad the level is based around not using any of it. Yeah. It's built around you just jumping and using the hover nozzle to get places. And then they take it away from you, and you're like, oh my god. I do want to point this out real quick, because they're, it's nonsensical. Mm -hmm. I know that we have we have a mutual friend named Connor. Yeah. And I've talked about this before with him, and he believes that this is good physics. No. But, like, if I do this, why the fuck can I not hover? Yeah. Like, why the hell do I not carry my momentum? Mm-hmm. Why do I plummet like a Why rock? Why doesn't the hover nozzle work? Because this doesn't make any sense physically. Yeah. This would. If I did this, and like, if I did this and carried my momentum with a hover and was able to like chain it into a jump, double jump, mm -hmm. this game would actually feel good to play. But the hover nozzle is so damn restricting because I can't even do this. Yeah. I can't even do that. The only reason I carried my momentum is because I ledge canceled there. Mm -hmm. Like I like hit the ledge and it and it stopped me. And then like Mario has the biggest opportunities to perform any action. Like you could turn around, like if you go forward and then turn around right for like a good full second he's still able to do a jump like the back jump. Yeah, you can do a side flip like way late. It just feels yeah. awkward. You can do a side flip like way, way after you've already turned around and started moving. I'll want to turn around and then jump. Normally. Yeah, because like I'll turn around and then I'll flip the other direction. I still side flip. Yeah. You can like change directions five times and still side flip. Yeah. I don't like it because it it overcomplicates me just wanting to jump forward. That's it. That's all I want to do. I just wanted to jump forward, but you had to give me some crazy huge fucking this a baby with no hands could execute yeah i i like spin jumping as a concept i really do yeah spin jumping is fun and it gives you a good bit of mobility and a good bit of control over where you're going yeah but like i just wish it was in any game that wasn't sunshine yeah because holy hell spin jumping would be so much better in any other game I wish you could spin jump like this in Odyssey. I really do, because it would yeah. it would be so cool to be able to chain this together with like perfectly thrown cappy throws. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I'm done here. Yeah, we have what the uh, what's next? Is it the one where you like look up into the sky? Oh no, I've got to do the ship to get to the amusement park. You can do that level. I don't want to fucking do yeah, it. Yeah, the amusement park. I forget about that one. Oh god damn it. Well, we're coming up on time, so you only have to do a couple shines. I ended up doing yeah. fucking everything. <laughs> you ended up doing everything. You did one shine. Yeah, and then I spilled water on myself. Ah. <laughs> uh. well, then you picked it back up, and I was like, I'll, I'll accept this. Well, I wanted to do that, because I thought you were going to get up and get napkins or something. No. And you just fucking abandoned me. I was just going to... mines. just going to let it Here. dry. Asshole. You go back to playing this <laughs> shitter game. I yeah. played nearly two hours of it. Yep. Woo. Look at this. Blah, 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 epic blah, blah, blah. plot. You know, as of right now, it is 6 a.m. on January 3rd. Yeah. January 3rd. January 3rd. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> if you're going to comment what day is it, just know that today is January 3rd. Yeah. It's January 3rd. Don't look at the date on your computer. It's January 3rd. It's always January 3rd. Yep. Woo! And that lights up. I have to go in here next? Whatever. No, you don't have to. We have a couple of those we can go to now. Oh. Oh, yeah. So, speaking of Sonic Frontiers, 
coming back from uh, a couple hours ago. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, the game got delayed. Did it? Well, not recently. Oh, uh, okay. The game was supposed to come out mid-2021. Oh, I hate this level. Yeah, fuck you. I played everything I don't like. I know. Which was the game. <laughs> but like... I specifically just hate this level, though. I don't need to follow you. <sighs> Sonic Frontiers got delayed till... It was what, like Christmas 2020? That doesn't make any fucking sense. Christmas 2022? Some shit like that? Like, it's late this year? Damn. Real light then. I don't re. Oh wow, that looks fucking terrible. Oh yeah. The cutscenes look so bad. They AI upscale them? Uh, probably. Whoa. I'm gonna check and see when Sonic Forces, Sonic Frontiers. It's Mecha Bowser. I despise this level. I think Connor said this is his favorite level. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. It's yeah. bad. I fucking hate it. It's stupid. It has the shittiest camera ever. November 15th, 2022 is the current release date, as far as we know, for Sonic Frontiers. That's real late. My mic unplugged. Oh, no. Oh, no. I got you. Yeah, so somehow they said they said that they were delaying the game for quality assurance, which and is... it got delayed from the middle of 2021 to the end of 2022. Yeah, something happened. That doesn't that doesn't bode well with Sega. This... Sega never delays their games. They'll make them come out in months. Actually, they delayed the last two Sonic games. Did they? They delayed both Team Sonic Racing and okay, but Forces. With Forces, I already know what happened there. Yeah. That was a mess. And Team Sonic Racing also uh, got delayed. Where? Where, where is he? Oh, there yeah, he is. Yeah, there he is. Oh, God, I hate this fucking You gonna sniggity snipe him? I am try. Oh, Bullet Bill approaches from behind. Does it? Sure does. Cool. Oh, fuck you! You can get them with water. Oh, I can? Yeah. I didn't know that. Cool. You can- anything in this stage that can hurt you, you can hit with water. Alright. Like that fire. I fucking had to hit that! Ah. Uh. I fucking had to hit it. You have what three goes around on this, or you lose? I don't know. Cool, I hit him. Do you have any older games you really like? If anything from like the NES era that like mm. sticks out in your mind of like game that's actually good? Oh fuck. Uh, I don't know. I feel like SNES is too late. Like any, you know, I looked up Game Boy answers too. Like any, uh, like eight bit games that you still think hold up really well. Um. Good stuff. I do like Pokemon, so there's always that. But. Wow, you are very bad at this. Yeah, I am not a fan. There we go. That was three, so it should be. No, no I take seven. Seven? Yeah. That's a lot. Well, you get a missile like every like few seconds. You're supposed to hit him with all of them a couple times. Motherfu- I hate that. I hate that. Why is that solid here? That's stupid. Ah, uh, fuck you. You die. I missed. That, that I know I missed. Even, that didn't even come close. No, it didn't. That is that. Great. Fucking... Damn, trick shot. Yeah. Oh, I okay. did it. It was four. It was four, okay. Got it. That stage, I cannot do. <laughs> I am awful at it. 
Oh wow, this looks so bad. I know I pointed it out already, but holy hell. Yeah. There we go, we learned. Woo, spoiler. You know, this is uh, Bowser Jr.'s first appearance. Yeah. You bad man. <laughs> and Peach is just like, what? Like how she's like, I'm your mama? I think you would Not... know that. Yeah, Peach <laughs> should know that. Yeah. <laughs> Something's going on, if it's a question. You know, you see that logo there? Yeah. You know whose logo that is? Yeah. Why? Yeah, Strange Old Man in White Coat gave it to me. Fucking why? Yeah, why? Why would he do that? Was it ever said? No. Why? He just did it. it? Just, up, I mean, like, EGAD probably makes a lot of money by making WMDs, so. Uh, maybe. I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe Bowser threatened him. That's the story I, in the game. No, nah, I, I doubt it. Okay. Especially because EGAD would definitely do this for money. Yeah, probably. I s Maybe not EGAD early on, like this era EGAD wouldn't, but current EGAD, like two, like Luigi's mentioned, two and three EGAD. Oh, he would absolutely just make nuke nuclear bombs for Bowser. Damn. All right, then. Current day EGAD's kind of an asshole. Fuck. It's fucked up. Is it? I think so. Oh, there it is. I was given two seconds of movement, and then it gave me the cutscene. Oh yeah, this episode isn't sponsored, but if it was sponsored, it'd be sponsored by Rambler. Rambler? Oh, I love Rambler. Oh. I've been drinking. I've been drinking so much Rambler. Rambler is a Texas limestone filtered sparkling water located in Austin, Texas. Ah, oh, okay. And damn, do I drink a lot of it now. I've been trying real hard to kick my nasty soda habit. And I've been wanting to exercise more and start working on a lot of my just just general health. Yeah. And Rambler has made it a lot easier by making sparkling water that tastes really good. I also have been getting on a LaCroix kick recently. I tried LaCroix for the first time since, like, freshman year. Oh. Because my parents had some in their fridge when someone left it. Yeah. And it, it kind of scared me because it tasted like soda. <laughs> and I know right. the last time I had LaCroix, I was like... This is disgusting, flavorless garbage. But I tried it, and I genuinely tasted what it said on the can. And I was All like, right. ooh, this is scrumptious. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> there's got to be something wrong with my brain now. i got to be wired different if I'm able to drink shit like LaCroix and realize, wait, this slaps. Yeah. Well, I guess there's been a big difference, too, uh, with me, you know, getting professionally trained palate-wise. Between yeah. now and then. Yeah, that's fair. But even still, sparkling water is an acquired taste. Yeah, definitely. I really like the taste of carbonic acid now. Is that just like carbonation? Yeah. Okay. It's it's more the the after effect of what happens when you add CO2 to water. Mm, okay. I'm only playing these levels, huh? <laughs> Apparently so. Which one's this one? The fun one. Ah, uh, this one. I see. I think I can handle this one. I really wish you died immediately. It's been really funny. Oh, shit. Oh. Yep. Oh. Oh. Oh, nope. Goodbye. Nope, okay. No B's and A's. Just A's. It just A. I should have beat an aid, but no. Only A. Woo. Whoa. Nope. That man's playing a dangerous game and losing. <laughs> I, I wasn't paying attention that time. I just wasn't watching. You're speaking of a dangerous game. You don't want to try. Huh? I want to buy one of those honeycomb things it had on Squid Game. And I want to, like, try it. Yeah? Because it looks delicious, and I've definitely never had it before. Do they really do that in Korea? 
just have a man on a cart that shows up and gives you a honeycomb thing and says, etch this out or die. <laughs> like, oh, okay. <laughs> like, if you buy it from him and you fail, he just kills you? I don't know. I've never heard of this. I'm definitely misremembering. I don't think there's a punishment for losing in real world. Probably not. <laughs> but, I do know that the punishment is probably the dissatisfaction of knowing that you paid for something that you failed. Yeah. It, you know what? This gives... I don't know how it got here in my mind, but I, ca I came up with a very interesting concept. Uh-huh. Imagine if you bought a $60 game and if you died, the game was unplayable. Ah, <laughs> uh, no thanks. That's so funny. I would love a game like that. Like, maybe yeah. not a $60 game. Don't get any ideas. It's got to be cheap. But like a $20 game where it's like you get one life and it's some sort of 3D platformer that gets progressively more difficult the more people beat it. Like it's a procedural oh. generation. Ugh. That dude, what is what a dope concept. That's interesting, but then it makes itself unplayable if a person loses. Yeah, that's so cool. Ah. Uh. What if the punishment for losing was just like two months? That's more reasonable. A permanent, like, you can't play this anymore is a fucked oh, up thing. Oh, but a game with permadeath would be so cool. You can do, like, permadeath, but you have to start completely over. No, I mean, like, permadeath is in the copy just, like, destroys itself. It, you know what? It would have to be a Steam-only release. It'd be, like, five bucks. <laughs> that way you can make multiple accounts. Yeah. The only way I see this, like, happening otherwise is, like... The Illuminati made it. And it's just some like weird anonymous type shit. Come on. Nope. I mean, as pro game preservation as I am, mm -hmm. I'm all about the idea of a CD exploding in my console. <laughs> I, I'm not because that might that would could very easily ruin the console. I don't mean the fucking disc abrupting into flames. I mean, like, one of those self-exploding discs like they used to make. So, uh, I don't know. It was, a, it was a, like, a type of DVD you could rent. But it's not even rent. You would literally buy it from the store yeah. and not have to return it to them. And the, and the disc would just kill itself after a few days, after being exposed to oxygen. <laughs> okay. They were black like PS1 discs. And then they would turn, like, blue and gray when they were dead. Alright. And they would, like, corrode and, like, crack and corrupt themselves after being exposed to oxygen. Okay. No. The The reason they were cancelled is because they were expensive to produce and they were horrible for the environment. Because people would just watch a two hour long movie then fucking throw it away! <laughs> yeah. And you can imagine how bad it would be for millions of families to just rent movies, sometimes multiple per week, and then just throw them away. Yeah. That adds up, especially when they had jewel cases with them too. Mm-hmm. That's a lot. That's that's a big, big price tag. Oh, well, not no. a not a big price tag, but like a big toll on the environment for sure. Oh yeah. What the fuck? Because the movies were like three bucks to buy. Okay. They cost like one dollar to produce. I'll just wait until it's going back. Make him cry. Yeah, make him cry. Make him cry. <laughs> make him cry. <laughs> cool. Those are the ones that matter. Yeah, I just. Those are the pains in the ass. I finally finished Kingdom Hearts three today. Uh. It, it wasn't nearly as bad as people are making it out to be. Was it bad? No, actually not at all. I made mm -hmm. I made a Kingdom Hearts tier list in my brain, mm -hmm. and I think I would put three at B tier. With okay. Remind, probably A tier. I actually really liked Remind. I know that's also heresy in the Kingdom Hearts fandom, but like, grow up, babies. It wasn't one hour of content. It yeah. was like fucking six. I, even... I actually watched this man play six hours of this. I'm also not done yet. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, 
yeah, sure. At like, let's say two hours of that was rehashed that I've already done. Oh no, four hours, and I yeah. still have more. There's still two more episodes I haven't gone through. Uh huh. And I know you motherfuckers haven't either, because I looked at the trophy data. Yeah. Like, <laughs> what I'm... was it? Two percent have actually beat all of the things. Yeah, two percent of people who bought Remind actually finished the second chapter. You don't get to tell me that Remind is an hour long with a boss rush of bosses I've already fought before if you haven't fucking played it. None of you fought the card guy, and I know that because none of you told me that the time mechanic was back from Kingdom Hearts 2. Yep. In fact, I've only been told it was only done that one time. Yeah. They're all none liars. Of, none of you did it. Don't even front. Oop. Our I first guess. Blue coin. On an accident. I didn't even want it. But I'll tell you what. I'll do it. And I'll tell you about it. I'll tell you about it on my YouTube channel. Yep. I, another shameless plug. I'm working on <laughs> a very, very, very long video that's going to chronicle my thoughts of the entire Kingdom no. Hearts franchise from start to finish as someone who used to shit on it before it released. Yeah. Or before I played them, not before it released. But <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's screwed up shit on a game <laughs> before it's even out. A me when Sonic. Yeah. But like, man, I don't know what to name the video. I've struggled on that pretty hard. Uh, hold up. I was. Why? Cool. Cause I want to see. It's below. Okay. I couldn't remember. Yeah, cause the shine spawns up there. Below is the is the supposed to be the eighth coin. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, there we go. Okay. There is the last one. And also, probably the end of our uh, episode. Yeah, probably the end of the episode. But yeah, right. the Kingdom Hearts 3 was good. Remind was fine. The ending was a little confusing, but I guess Sora was erased from everything. I don't know. He faded into non existence. We're gonna play. Or the, did he? Uh, or did he? We're gonna play the whole Kingdom Hearts series on the channel. Yeah. Let us know if you're interested in that, or don't, because we're gonna do it regardless. Yeah. But it is now 6:23 a.m. on January 3rd. 6:23 a.m. We have 24 shines, and of what the like 80 something you need. Well, we did skip one. Yeah. So make that 79. <laughs> yeah. All right. Then. I like how Mario's feet clipped back into existence to be yeah. angled. Yeah. How is he standing like that? He's got some killer calves. You know, I can stand like that, but not moving my body independently of my legs. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's crazy. He's crazy. But yeah, that, that'll be uh, it oh, for we should, today. We should cut the episode there and just say he's crazy. <laughs> No, we should have a proper ending. No, why? Why? Why wouldn't we have a proper ending? We have it for a couple episodes. I know, but like one of them was an accident. No, but like we're like five straight at this point without proper endings. Are we? Yeah. You sure? Probably like three, but <laughs> either way, it's been multiple. If we're gonna cut it off, we should be at the. Uh, are you? We should be like the. Are you sure? Okay. <laughs> 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 okay all right that was a fine episode i think the jump king one was still better yeah. but i well, did. also because we like that game yeah we like jump king i i talked a lot i tried to talk yeah i played the whole game mm -hmm. I actually did have a number more of talking points that we did never got to because we just started talking about like sonic yeah we talked about other shit but that's good. Then I can uh, cut out those things from that. I didn't have any talking points at all. I didn't look at my phone once. Yeah. Um, there we go. That's one. Two.
Yep, I think I only talked about four specific talking points that I had written down. It is really, really early now. It's like morning. Yeah. It is soon to be bright out. Yep, this is everything I have left. It's a long ass list. Oh shit, I should hit stop on the recording. Yeah. <laughs>